All right, so I have a problem. It's a problem. I'm obsessed. It's like, it's a thing. I can't, I, I, there are way too many boxes on their way. Look what's here, you guys. My brandless box is here. So if you just watched my recent grocery haul, I mentioned to you guys that there was some stuff that I was waiting for that was in my brandless order. And I don't even think that it's what's in this box. Why? Because I am kind of going crazy on their website. And the busier that they're getting and the more popular that they're getting, they're adding more things also. And I am just, I'm over the moon. I'm in love with them. I think so many of their products that I've tried, I'm totally in love with. Uh, something that I keep forgetting to mention in all of my videos and then yesterday like reminded me to not forget to mention this. So part of their deal with purchasing something through them is every time you purchase something through them, they donate a meal to someone in need. I don't know if it's like Feeding America or whatever their organization is. For every purchase made on their website, they donate a meal to someone in need, which is amazing. If you purchase on the third of the month, they will give three. That's their deal, their brandless offer. One of their like coupons is if you purchase on the third of the month, they'll donate three meals to people in need. Now, in my last order, uh, last video, I mentioned that they've been doing something new now where you can put in a promo code and receive an item for free. Well, last night I was on their website again. I know I said, like, it's a problem. And their promo code was give back. And instead of getting something for free, you could, if you put in that promo code of give back, you could donate 10 meals to someone in need. So instead of getting something for free, you could give your free to 10 people who need a meal. Like my heart was so full when I saw that. They're not advertising it. It's just when you go to check out, that's the promo code of the week that you could use. Like my heart was so warm. So go and check and see because I'm not sure if I'm going to post this video within a week of that time. I did take a picture and put it on my Instagram um, and kind of tag them in it and say how amazing that that was. But I always have my link down below and that saves you $6 on your first order anyways. But go and check them out and go into your checkout cart and see if that's what your free item is because although we all love to get something for free uh, i literally think that i'm just going to order what's in my cart even though i wasn't ready i'm waiting for something to come back in stock i think i may just order today anyway because just the idea of giving something to someone without even having to do anything is just amazing to me and i continue to be amazed by this company and because of that again i don't know if the stuff i'm actually looking for is in this box because i have another box that's delayed like they're just getting it's getting crazy over there and I placed two orders within a week's time of each other so this one just got here my other one hasn't even shipped so I don't even know if it'll be here before I leave to go to New York that might have to be a box that I share with you guys when I get home but I want to share this one for now and I already have a cart like I said full on there but they're just amazing you guys so enough about that let me open the box and show you what I got I know I mentioned to you last time, but they pack amazing. I love when companies pack well. I say the same thing about Grove because when you pack well and your items arrive safely, it just gives you security when you're placing your next order that you're not going to have to worry about anything that's coming in your box because it's going to be here safely, you know? Oh, so many goodies in here. Okay, you guys ready? Let's do this. All right, so I ordered this popcorn, and again, I'm not sure if this is the one that Nicole was talking about. I have to snap her and ask her. It's organic, 100% whole grain, gluten-free, and it's crushed pepper and truffle oil popcorn. We're really big on popcorn in this house, so I'm excited about trying that. 
and, and my first brandless order I placed uh, alphabet cookies but I've not seen them again those animal crackers that they were I have not seen them again but Mason really enjoyed them and so did Maya so when I saw these mini shortbread cookies I scooped them up since I haven't been able to get the animal crackers again so this just says a mini shortbread cookies non-gmo no artificial anything and they just like look like mini cookies I will say I don't know if it's the kind of ingredients that they use but I have not liked any of their cookie thins now other people have but that just my taste we've tried the coconut and I wasn't a fan and we tried the chocolate and I wasn't a fan Maya's been eating the chocolate ones and I sent the coconut ho ones home with Bonnie but I really just they haven't been my thing but this looks more like a cookie so I'm hoping I really like this just kidding, I was supposed to be giving this to my kids, right? I hope the kids really like this. Two repeat buys. I got these in my first order, and so I ordered them again. These are the cookies that are supposed to be like Oreos, and I didn't fool Jake. I kind of knew I wouldn't. I even tried putting them in an Oreo container, and it still didn't work, but... I liked them. I don't like Oreos and I really liked them and the kids really liked them and after the first couple of ones that I ate like it still tasted to me kind of like an Oreo cookie and I was dunking it in milk and doing my thing and so I thought you know hey if the kids like these they're way better than the JoJo's and you know how I feel about Trader Joe's. I love me some Trader Joe's but the JoJo's just they don't hold a candle to this so I recommend these and then I got the blue corn taco shells again these were slamming I love these the only downside is they weren't a stand in stuff and the recipe that I made with them they should have stood up in the pan that was my fault but it's very hard I I've mentioned before in my Trader Joe's hauls the only organic non-gmo taco shell I've ever found is at Trader Joe's and it's just a regular taco shell which I get those all the time which is why I want to order these again because I just figured it's a switch from what I don't pay three dollars at Trader Joe's so I won't do this all the time that is still a better deal but we're tired of the plain old taco shells you know so that's going to be a really nice change couple of more chip like things so these are the everything bagel thins uh, sorry, everything pretzel thins. See, I said bagel because that was where my mind went. There isn't probably a video that you guys have ever seen that I don't talk about bagels home from New York. It's like my ultimate favorite thing in life. If I had one last meal, it would be a bagel. For real, Scout's Honor Square. I'm such a bagel lover and I love everything. Egg everything in particular is my favorite flavor bagel. So to do any kind of like pretzel thin or anything like that that has everything seeds, I buy the everything seeds from Trader Joe's. I just love them so I can't imagine that these are going to be bad. So I'm excited about them. And then, holy cow. We got these in the last one and we meaning me jake bonnie and gage pretty much killed this in like a sitting because they were so delicious this is the partially popped popcorn uh, i think i have two more bags coming one in the next order and there's one in my cart again because i know that we just all love them and it is the age white cheddar non-gmo gluten-free all that good stuff and it's just literally partially popped popcorn with white cheddar seasoning and it's not like break your teeth like chewing on kernels like it wasn't like that it's still like light and airy like popcorn but just more like the husk very very good and I've been all about like anything pickle flavor lately pickle flavor chips pickle flavor everything don't get any ideas no baby factory is closed but just because I'm craving pickles like I want everything pickle and this is that partially pop popcorn and the dill pickle flavor so those ones the kids can have and these ones are mine just kidding some more repeat buys uh these are what held up this order because i was waiting for these to come back in stock and as soon as they came back in stock i ordered them this is the lemon basil scone mix it was super easy to make like super easy and it cooked perfectly like probably one of the best box mixes that has actually been like i imagined it to be perfect scone texture very lemony with a slight hint of basil i made them for for vanessa when she was here and she just bought a box 
because she loved it so much and I bought another box too. So I really highly recommend those. And then I highly recommend these, like the kids and I just, we keep killing them. These are the gummy lemonade rings, non-GMO, gluten-free, all that good stuff made with real cane sugar. And it's strawberry lemonade, lemonade, and pomegranate lemonade like sour rings. And the serving size is five pieces, which I feel like is way more than enough. I wouldn't even eat five in a sitting, but they're so yummy. And like within a couple of times, between the amount of kids and myself that we open this bag, it's gone. So we love it for three bucks. It's a steal. So this is something new that they did and I have the black beans coming in my next one and this I got the dark red kidney beans on this trip but it's a three pack for three dollars standard size can which I think is great. I think a dollar is cheaper than Trader Joe's so I think this becomes the better deal and they're organic low sodium gluten free dark red kidney beans and I use cook a lot of chili and stuff in the fall so I'm excited to have this in my cabinet for when I return. This was my free item. Like I mentioned in the beginning, how you could donate the 10 meals. I've gotten a free pair of tweezers so far. I've gotten a free pair of, oh no, I think the tweezers is in the next box. You guys haven't seen that yet, but I got the free grapefruit facial scrub and then now this coconut oil came free. I don't actually use coconut oil that often, but you can't say anything about it it was free my girlfriend uses a lot of coconut oil so i'm going to bring this home to new york and give this to her this is organic unrefined and it's cold pressed which is supposed to be the best way to have um coconut oil that's really good i didn't see that uh, and it's virgin coconut oil so that's what i got for her so i'm bringing that home for jill Last three items in this box. I'm excited to show you guys this one. Oh yeah, plus there's something down there. I'll show you those two last. So I'm excited about trying these. These are the gluten-free blueberry muffin mix. My girlfriend Jill, who I'm giving the coconut oil to, she's the one who turned me on to Brandless. She said these are amazing. So I'm excited to give these a try. I'm gonna meal prep these for school breakfasts when I get home from New York. And then I got this ketchup. So I'm excited about this. We've been trying all different kinds of organic ketchups and we're not, like it doesn't taste any different to me. I like the one from Trader Joe's. We used to get the BJ's brand and now Heinz has a organic ketchup that they are carrying at my BJ's. So I've been all about that one. So we just, ketchup is ketchup to us. Um, so I tried the organic, gluten-free, all that good stuff um ketchup so i'm hoping that we like this so it's not just food at brandless i mentioned that last time my free item was a grapefruit facial scrub and they have a lot of household items so one of them is a dish towel sorry i should have taken it out of the bag for you because i want to show you guys i keep buying these because they're stinking ginormous they're so so big and they're so like thick and wonderful and I think I've ordered one in every order I absolutely love them and then this time I couldn't wait to try these you guys three dollars for a chef knife I love the way that it came packaged look how neat that is it even came with a little thing on the tip so you don't poke yourself I think that's great like look at that knife I love a good like really sharp new knife and how do you beat this for three dollars they had every kind of knife that you could think of a slicing knife a paring knife all kinds of knives so i think that in each one of my orders i'm going to start like adding another knife and just start replacing some of my dull ones that just don't really get sharp anymore even with a sharpener so i'm excited about that i love like a good good dicing knife so i'm excited Okay, you guys, so that's it for this time's brandless haul. Like I mentioned, I'm obsessed. If there's another box that comes before I leave in just a couple of days, I'll probably bring it with me to my mom's and film it there. If not, there'll probably be two brandless hauls very close together or one giant one when I get home. But you guys, I'm really, really, really loving this company. Like, just their prices are outstanding. Their customer service and what they're doing for other people with this giving the meals and all of that and there like I said there hasn't been much I haven't liked I've been honest with you guys you know the coffee pods are not a good deal I'm not crazy about the cookie thins although you you know may like them I didn't really like the blue corn tortilla chips where Nicole loved them Vanessa loved them I like the taco shells but not the chips so everybody has their own 
you know, taste buds, but I don't mind sharing with you my honest reviews, but my honest, honest review is that this company is going to explode because they're amazing and I am so proud to have gotten in on them and started getting stuff before it gets too crazy because I love them. I'm in love with them. So give Brandless a try. Again, The click the link down below and you save $6 off your first order. Give this video a big thumbs up, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.